Welcome everyone to a brand new Grand Theft Auto episode, I believe this is number 6, and today I'm recording on Wednesday, which is the 19th of August, and we're going to continue on here with the story. Um, hopefully I'm going to make a nice long episode for today, I'm looking for shooting for 40 minutes, so I want to get a lot of things accomplished, and it looks like we have another Brucey mission here. I believe the last time we were introduced to Brucey, but now we're going to start working with him a little bit more. And then, oh no, I don't know why I said Michelle. Uh, this is Manny. He's a new character. He also has ties to Elizabeta, which is, of course, the one drug dealer that lives over here in uh, Fortside. Kind of like Bohan Boulevard area. Wait, what's this called? Yeah, Boulevard. So, we're going to be going to do these two missions first. Get these taken out. Ooh, you know what? Shit. We're just going to take a, a taxi here, because it's just going to save us a lot of time. <clears throat> and you'll notice I do that a lot throughout this game as I'm playing, because I just, I think it's, uh, it just makes it so much easier, honestly, to get it from point A to point B. You could also tell the taxi driver if you want to hurry up and stuff and whatever. It's pretty cool. So let's go over here. Another thing I'm going to be talking about in this game is why, or this episode, is why I prefer the physics in this GTA 4 over GTA 5. And one of the reasons is that the characters actually react more to the environment. And, for example, let's, hold on, let me just go and use this taxi here. Maybe it'll stop. Yep. So, for example, when it's raining, you'll notice Nico, as well as other characters, will kind of shake their hands and stuff and like wipe their face because get the rain off of them so it's really cool how they always react to the environment around them and if you also like walk around with an RPG they'll they'll kind of get a little bit frightened from you in this game compared to the GTA 5 when they really didn't Okay, so we have to go in this mission, use a computer and go on this dating site and set up a, a date with this, this one guy here, let's go. Um, French Tom. Okay, so we have to set it up and we're, this is all a part of the mission. Alright, so now we just have to log off. So now we just have to wait for him to what's it called message us and we're all completed there we go so that was a really quick mission only took like what did that take two minutes geez okay so now let's go and do the Manny mission which is all the way over here hopefully we'll find another taxi eventually I will be getting that one cheat code I mentioned for getting the police off my back reduce the wanted level there's also a cheat code to increase the wanted level, which I never understood why there was that cheat code. I miss Grand Theft Auto Vice City. That game had some awesome cheat codes. Like the, there was one where that made your car fly if you held back on the analog stick. It was called the uh, doo doo cheat, I think. Whenever you pull back on the analog stick, it would just your car would go up in the air for a little bit. It was kind of sweet. All right. 36 bucks. So yeah, that's just one of the reasons why I like this game over GTA 5. It's just the physics and everything. They just don't react as the characters as well. Oh, this one's this is an annoying mission. Escuela of the streets. Yeah, this guy's like a local street master here. This Manny guy. He's kind of like a local just guy that runs around the streets and stuff. He thinks he's a gangster. And he's trying to make a positive image for his area. So he's shooting all these commercials and stuff. Ooh. Shit, guys. Okay, so let's go and get rid of the cops, hopefully. By the way, today on Wednesday, it, it's a really nice day, but I ended up not going anywhere to record any videos. Possibly later in the day, I'll go and... Ooh, jeez. Possibly later in the day I'll go and record an episode or something, like, 
a vlog series, a nature episode. Oh, jeez, guys. How the hell did I turn that over? You dick. You crazy dick. Okay, we're gonna have to get the hell out of here now. Alright. Thankfully, there's a vehicle right over here. I love how we just steal another car. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the dealer's place with Manny now. Which is right up the road. So you and Mallory is tight, huh? She and your cousin is together now. I love that girl, man. I love her, man. Your cousin better not be messing with her head. You're gonna propose, right? You're gonna make an honest woman of her, right? I think that's as much of a decision of Mallory's as it is Roman's. I don't know if he's grown up enough to make a good husband. What's it to you, anyway? I didn't know you and Mallory was that close. Shit, man. Man, he's close to everyone who grew up on the streets of South Bohem, man. They're my people, right? Sure. Jeez. We're just totally destroying the landscape. All these <laughs> dumpsters and stuff. The dealer and his drug wagon are up there. Pull up behind him, we wait. I love how we pulled up the other way. Okay, we have to follow the dealer now. And not let him know that he's being followed. So we have to st pretty much stay all the way back here. You don't want to get too close because he'll definitely notice. No car lengths, right? uh, that's how far you stay behind the woman when you're harassing her? <laughs> two car lengths. Okay. Okay, let's stay back a little bit, guys. I just don't want to be spotted. <clears throat> yeah, this is a. There's a lot of missions like this in the game that involve shadowing. They're they're kind of annoying. You know, these streets is mine, man. I can feel them flowing through my veins. You sound like you got something else in your veins. And I ain't touched that shit in years. Who you been talking to, man? I'm clean, man. Serene. Fucking serene. Oh, I'm sorry. You ever thought <laughs> about doing some TV? You might be able to get a series with the back of mine, you know? Eco, Pelic, Street Justice, bro. Not really my scene. Just wait till you see your face on the screen, man. Maybe you change your mind then. Yeah, I always wanted to be a well-known idiot. People say, Danny, <laughs> why you do this? Why you want to clean up the streets so bad? What's your passion? Do you tell them to get famous? It's for the love, man. They know me because I help people, man. I'm all love, kid, for these streets. All right. As you can see, Manny pretty much just likes to talk. He's one of the most annoying characters, and he's actually not a around for now, that many missions. I think there's only like three or four missions with him, if that, before he gets taken out. So, okay, let's stay close. Uh, stay far away. Let's keep a nice social distance here. <laughs> God, I'm so tired of hearing about that. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Um, and I think today I'm also going to upload an episode 21 of my Nostalgia Gaming series, which is going to be Jack 3. So that video will possibly come out later in the evening if I decide to do it then. Oh shit, back up. I think this is the spot. I think this mission we end up in a warehouse or something. It's a massive shootout. Can't remember correctly. It's been like probably eight months since I played this mission. This is how we roll, man. As you remember, I, it's me saying I played through this game at least twelve times all the way through. So. Looks like he's about to stop, yo. You best pull up behind him, man. Here we go, park behind the dealer. Follow him into that warehouse and get rid of the dealers. I thought you were going to clean up the streets. Hey, the message is what's important, man. It don't matter who gives it. I, for one, ain't in this shit for the ego trip. You taking my money, aren't you? Be my voice. 
I'm gonna go back and get Jay. <clears throat> okay, so Manny pretty much used us. He's really not a good good guy, so it's he gets what he deserves basically. <laughs> he deserves. I love how that cop just uh. Wait, am I supposed to just shoot this? I think so. There we go. Alright, let's just shoot some, uh... RPGs in here. All right, let's see. Can get that guy. Got him. Sweet, we took them all out. Just like that. That was nice and simple. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so now Manny's gonna record a little video there, as you can see. He just wanted to look like the hero, basically, in that whole mission. So now we're gonna go and do another Manny mission, it looks like. We have one on the map. We honestly could probably just run to it. I'm gonna take this car. Might as well make it easier. Look at that, 12 minutes in, we're already going to our third mission. We'll probably finish up all the Manny missions in this video. I don't know, it depends. Okay, so we got over here. Let's go check this out. Street Sweeper. So, more than likely, we're going to have to take out some other people. All right, I had to take a quick drink of water. Go to Windmill Street. Sounds like an interesting street for Liberty City. By the way, after I complete this game, I will be playing The Lost and Damned, and then I will play through The Ballad of Gay Tony, and then we'll have the whole GTA 4 game complete, the whole collection. You know what? Sweet, oh god, they're getting away. Alright, let's go get these guys. Shit, let's go down this way. Yeah, here they are. They're in this car. We just have to take them out here. The cool thing about the Lost and Damned when you play as Johnny is that you actually get like sticky bombs and a fully automatic shotgun, which is really freaking cool. It's probably my favorite, my favorite weapon in the GTA 4 world is that automated, fully automated shotgun. So there we go. Got that mission completed, nice and quick. We're moving along here. Let's call Manny. Manny, I got rid of your street problem. Now help me out with my financial one. Yeah, it's all business with you, kid. Okay. So we talk to him. Now let's see, we should be getting another mission. Oh, whoops. Forgot this is a dead end. Although there is a really cool jump. I think it's right over here. Yeah, let, let me show you. I didn't show you this area yet. Behind me, there's also like a little construction site. I used to go there all the time. See? This is one of the various stunt jumps in the game. You know what? I'm going to try to do this one. Alright, man. If you want my advice, the only way you're going to get your balls back to normal is if you stop juicing. 
sick, will you get implants? How many times? I have to tell you, homie, my balls are golden, okay? I want to talk to you about <laughs> Roman. He's got a problem. He's gambling like an animal. Online, he's in clubs, everywhere. You need to control your cousin, bro. Roman's a grown-up. He can look after himself, Bruce. He's getting involved with some serious cats, homie. Even people, I might think... Oh, here we go. Did we do it? Yes. There's that stun jump. 49 stun stunts left to do. All right, cool. I think we accidentally ruined the conversation though with Brucey. Okay, let's see, are we able to? We have to drive around a little bit more. Whoops. Oh, Dimitri. Dimitri's a douchebag. I can't wait till we uh, take him out in that mission later in the game. He hides out in like this massive ship on the harbor, and we have to go in there and take him out. It's so rewarding. The other option in the story is to, I think, what's the other option? Shit. You could either kill Dimitri or uh, Roman ends up getting killed if you choose the other option, but you get a better financial payoff, so... It's all up to you, I believe. Uh, something like that happens, I think. All right, Mallory. Hey, Nico. You tired of Manny yet? I was tired of him as soon as I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> I got someone else who might have some work for you, Elisabetta Torres. Oh, here we go. Here's Elisabetta. She's a really bad person. And the Lost and Damn Biker Gang does a lot of work with her, especially Johnny, who you play as in the next uh, GTA 4 story. I can't believe that came out so long ago, like over 10 years ago, I think. Well, yeah, definitely over 10 years ago. Because this game came out like 2008, 2007. I never forget when this game came out. It was my all-time favorite GTA. I like Vice. Vice City is my most nostalgic one, but this one is definitely my favorite one overall. All right. So this is. I got this meeting over on Toilet Street. There's a rifle up on the roof of the place, Nick. Oh wow. Okay, so let's go to the building on South Bohan. South Bohan here. Let's go down here. Yeah, this is a sniping mission. Pretty simple, too. We're moving along here. This guy, uh, the character that we just met, his name is Packy. McQuarrie, Patrick McQuarrie, he's a part of the McQuarrie family, and they do a lot of robberies and stuff. Famous, like, Irish family in Liberty City. We'll meet them later on and do a robbery that's amazing. Kind of gives the inf inspiration for Grand Theft Auto V's bank robberies. So, this is where all of that was... Here we go. You kind of have to take this sniper rifle, you have no choice. Make your way to the vantage point. We have to watch over this meeting over here with Packy and them. Take these guys out once the meeting goes bad.
All right, they're talking here. Something's definitely going to go wrong here. And if you shoot them beforehand, then you definitely fail. Wait. There we go. Oh, jeez. Packy was in trouble there. Nice. Good shooting. Is that it? Those dealers double crossed your boy, but I managed to keep him alive. Army was right about you. You are good. I have to All right, cool. So we got that successfully completed. Now, I'm going to go and use this uh, cab over here. Alright, let's enter here and we're going to go back to the Elizabeta mission. Nice. Getting a lot of stuff accomplished in this video. Cool. Seven bucks, you can't beat it. That's why I always choose to take the cab in this game. It really saves you time, especially if you're trying to do a Let's Play. Is this where uh, Manny gets killed? No, I don't think so. Oh, jeez. This is Playboy. I can't stand this guy. He's an, another drug dealer. Connected with Elizabeta, of course. You could either, later on in the game, we're going to have another option with him. See, I love how we both broke into the car. That was pretty cool. Does Elizabeta get to do stuff like this often? Elizabeta don't get me to do shit. I just like to keep an eye on things. There ain't a deal in this town I don't know about. I own this city. For real. Yeah? Well, how come we haven't met before? <laughs> you obviously ain't been big time. Now, I started small like you, man. Slanging rocks on the corner, sticking cats up, all type of shit. Them was the old days. Now it's all about diversification. A heroin deal is your way of diversifying? Money talks. Money say jump, cat say how high. This is a cash deal. I got other shit going down as well. What type of shit you got going on? I'm always looking for work. If it pays, that is. I pay like a Slongberg Sachs bonus, bitch. It's Christmas every <laughs> day when you rolling with this dude. So you got to work? Not yet. I gotta set shit up. But I'll need a cat like you real soon. Give me your number. Tell me about that biker. The one with the smack. Johnny. I ain't working with that cat, but I heard about him. He's doing all type of crazy shit. Blowing stuff up. Them boys, the lost, they in some heavy type of gang war, is what I heard. Crazy white boy shit. Think only one group can grow beards and ride bikes in this town. It's a big town. It's not big enough for some people. What's that other gang called? Uh, Death Angels or some shit? Anyways, be careful of this cat. Don't want to even look at him the wrong way. Crazy motherfucker. You scared of him? Yeah, I ain't scared of nobody. All them bikers and faces and shit is all. Alright. So, Playboy, he's actually a pretty cool character. But. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go follow Playboy. Of course, this is another shootout mission. Shootout style. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Some Asian guy named Charlie up here. 
whoops, accidentally ran into Playboy. And here's Johnny. It's pretty cool we get to meet him here. You ready? Sure, let's do this. Nothing like selling some dope to let you know you're alive. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. All right, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Not much. Let's do this. You got the heroin, right? Right? Come on, let's do this quickly. So you got the heroin, correct? You're carrying it, correct? I mean, it's a simple question. What's wrong with you? Are you fucking weird? <laughs> How weird, man. I just want to know if you're carrying the stop, right? You ain't right, Fred. Come on. All right. Forgot to skip past that cutscene. They're going to expect us to go off the front with that. You clear out the floor above first place. Fuck you! Jeez, I think we have to go up, guys. Sweet. So far, so good. Okay, let's get our health back up real quick. Via cheat code. <laughs> Okay, so now we just have to go back down. Take that bastard. We want to try not to attract a lot of attention here and kill that many cops. Because the more stars, the harder it's going to be. Alright, come on, playboy. Let's go. Hey, calm down. So that was pretty easy. That was a nice little escape. I think they intended that because it was just really planned well. Come on, come on. Yes. Shit, man. fucking died instead of being caught by them feds. You take a bed on a heroin beef, you ain't seeing life for a long time. You riding up in that shit. Yeah? Future in a mass security pen ain't no future at all. You forget about them cats who do that sort of time. And if your friends on the inside? My man's Dwayne Forge is inside on a crack beef. He showed me some shit back in the day. When he gets out, if he ever does, it won't be the same world. What's different since this guy's been doing his bid? Shit changed. There'll be more to it than a crack tip nowadays. There'll be the smack tip, the rap game, X, chronic, meth, shit. I'm looking into expanding my horizon. All right. Yeah? For sure. Reach for the stars and all that shit. I don't see why a young kid from the hood can't make something out of himself. Street cats like me just get labeled as hip. What I'm doing to get out of the ghetto? I don't see it as dealing drugs. Drugs is just one arm of my fitness. I'm buying and selling that shit like any commodity on the trading floor. Only this commodity is illegal. Yeah, but Playboy is going legitimate. So I want to be one of them developing cats. Build me some skyscrapers, see my name in big gold letters. Yeah, I thought you would want to build schools or something. Help young black men get out of the ghetto. Shit, that'll come. Gotta get me successful first. They were really going fast, jeez. <clears throat> now we just have to take him back to his place. 
and this mission will be complete, everyone. You know what? I think this is going to be the last mission for today in this episode, just because it's been 30 minutes. Try to keep it at 30 minute intervals. I got a lot of things done, though, like six missions, so that's great. Within a short amount of time, we were cleaning up the streets. Almost there. Jeez. Would have really got messed up in real life. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we got $2,000 and we had a nice little mission there. So, we also met Playboy X and a new character, Elizabeta. So thank you all for watching this short little, well not really short, nice little episode for today. And stay tuned for more content coming soon everyone.